peace and welcoming to your Gono Art family. Today we're going to be speaking about focusing on the process and not the final product. So I found from my experience that getting busy in my practice and studies, I end up uh, surprising myself in my improvement. And so I tend to not be aware of it. So let's say that I'm making like artwork okay so let's say I'm on artwork number five you know and the improvement took place on artwork number five however I'm constantly going and let's say that I don't notice my improvement until artwork number 10 and so in that in that ex explanation I feel that we should just flow with the process be so focused on the process that our improvement surprises us our improvement is shown in like the older artworks but we're not like where we haven't really like paid attention to it you know until like we finally re we finally realize that oh okay i improved since you know artwork number five and so i feel that improvement is a natural byproduct of our studies and challenges and practice and that if you aren't improving through those means that there needs to be a, a change in routine so from my from my experience like i I spoken to uh, some people that, that say that they haven't improved for years and they say that uh, they come up with like excuses like i don't have any talent etc however when i continuously like question them and you know give them suggestions and you know videos teachers and books to to look to look into it, it i for i like uh, i it turns out that uh they weren't uh, serious about improving or drawing you know they just liked it they just like the drawing for fun and that's okay too so from this i can say that you know to be honest with yourself whether you want to improve or not Furthermore, I feel whenever we want to learn more effectively and quickly, I feel that it's necessary to have a peaceful mental state and to practice or have patience, you know, because patience is key to the process. And I feel when, when people are rushing the process or they badmouth themselves that they aren't there yet or they badmouth themselves about a mistake or so it tends to take longer because the stress slows down our creativity and our learning process as well so the paradox to learning quickly and effectively is having patience and so for me when i ever make a mistake or so i always you know i always just go back to my references and fix them you know and i do this this constant uh, trial and error thing so think of it this way like if your brain was a person and if a brain was a person it would get so annoyed at looking at the the study references that it'll eventually activate its uh, muscle memory and visual memory for you so that you wouldn't have to look back and so to do this after reviewing your studies your art studies and you go on to practice try to recall everything from your studies and if your final outcome doesn't come out to be a hundred percent from what you saw in your studies just repeat the process until the brain activates the the muscle memory and the visual memory and be sure to uh, stay consistent you know because you have to prove to your brain that this is what your heart desires so when your brain sees you being consistent it'll be like okay this person has proven to me that He's passionate about uh, doing this. He's passionate about learning this language. He's passionate about uh, learning this in art. So I will give him the visual memory and the muscle memory so that, you know, he can uh, take this with him so that he wouldn't have to look at the, the references again. So that he or she wouldn't have to look at the references again. And so when the brain sees how passionate the heart is, the brain will become inspired by the heart and eventually give you what you desire and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching peace out